Hi, I'm Taylor with RentMyInstrument.com. I'm standing here at the Rent My Instrument headquarters in Kansas City, Missouri. Hi there, can I help you? Okay, my name's Ralph. Nice to meet you. Have you ever played a musical instrument before? No, not really. Okay, okay what grade are you going to be in next year? I'm going to be in fifth grade. Fifth grade, okay, perfect years to start. Okay. Mom, why don't you come on over here? Why don't you have a seat? Cooper, come right here, please. And I will sit down. All right, Cooper, can you please tell me again the three families of the band instruments? Woodwind, brass, and percussion. Percussion, good. We're going to start with the woodwinds first, okay? Now, to help you learn to play or just to get a sound on it, I took the what we call the head joint off. This is the body and the foot. And I'm going to have you blow into and just across the hole. So it's like you're saying poo. Can you blow up my hand? Poo. And go, and I go, poo. Good. And step forward. All right, look your chin up, keep your mouth just like it is, perfect. Okay, we're gonna close like that, poop. Oh, good, now keep, keep the airstream going. Good. All right, Cooper, we talked about the woodwind instruments. Do you know why they call it woodwinds? Looky here. It's made of wood, that's cane, and this is the reed. And it's gonna go on the mouthpiece, and if we look, look in there with me, look how much space, there's not a lot of space in there, is there? For us to get the air through there. <laughs> ah, there we go. Teeth on the top. Blow. Okay, blow hard. The clarinet's a nice solo instrument, it has a nice sound. So it's sick. It's just so you know how it feels in your hand. Your thumb goes on the back. Kind of like the flute again. We've got three fingers, one, two, and three. So don't schools like to normally progress from the clarinet to the saxophone? There are a lot of schools that recommend starting on the clarinet for the first year and then moving to the saxophone. Okay, Cooper, what do we got here? What is this? Take that out of your mouth for a minute. Saxophone. Okay, there are, this is the alto saxophone, which most students begin with. Probably the easiest instrument to play, but mom, this is the most expensive instrument made, <laughs> by the way. We're going to slip this on here like this, and... We have a lot of similarities again. Where, where do you think your hands would go, Cooper? We've got a thumb, yep, your thumb would go there. And where's your other thumb gonna go? Where's your other hand gonna go? There we go, good job. See the thumb rest? It's very similar to the clarinet. All right, and then I'll take the reed for just a minute. And when I put the mouthpiece on, it's gonna swing right up into here like this and you're gonna blow it for me, okay? Let's just go ahead and let that sit there. You can hold on to it while I put on your, your reed. Look here, we got a mouthpiece again, ligature, Slip over it. Again, we don't have a lot of space for where that reed's gonna, where that air's gotta get through there. Remember, it's got a little slow right there. Slow from down here. Try again. Yeah. This is the neck. That's uh, two pieces, neck and body. Okay, I mean neck and body, mouthpiece and reed. Once again, let's try to blow. Pretty good. Now you've got muscles in your face, and you're just letting them relax. You keep this nice and tight. Keep your chin flat. Like this, can you do that? Open your mouth, blow. Hey, fabulous, all right now. Open your mouth, blow. There you go. Now, when we talk about the cheeks one more time, I want you to blow. Wow, you know what you did? You, you corrected it. You felt that blow like this, then you brought it back in. Super. Notice the fingering is very similar. Your fingers have got to get around there. And this is another thing, Mom, that the hands are a little small. Mm -hmm. And that's why they'll start on the clarinet because they can see where the hands are going. And as they grow that one year, being able to get their hands around to the, to the fingers and to the finger pearls where the fingers need to place makes it a little simpler if they play clarinet for a year. Now, you can play saxophone. Just need to be able to get those hands bent around there and get your hands opened up and everything. comes in a much larger case. Uh, and, of course, again, you've got to buy reeds, okay? All right, Cooper, let's start with the trumpet of the brass instruments. We talked about there's two brass instruments, trumpet and trombone. This is a trumpet. And the way we produce a sound on the trumpet is by buzzing our lips. Okay? Oh, you're already ready to go. Can you buzz for me? Mm -hmm. Oh, no, you're singing. You're not buzzing. You need to buzz your lips. Stop for a moment. Okay. How, we're going to make a sound by buzzing our lips. So let's first let's just relax a motorboat. Can you motorboat? Oh, oh. Do the same thing. Put this on your mouth like this. I'm sorry. Okay. 
Yes, thank you. You can hold it and do it. You buzz with me. Ready? Yes. Good. Do the same thing. Buzz. Good. Perfect. Let's shake hands with it. Left hand is going to grab the valves like that. You see there's places for your fingers. Each band director is going to ask you to hold it differently. The best thing to do though is that we want this, these three fingers around there like that, around the valves. And let's hold it there. Your thumb rests rest in the saddle. Your other finger, put your thumb right there for me. Your thumb right there. One, two, three fingers. First two and three. Again, oh, looky there. Everything fits. All right, let's stand up straight. Blow my ear off. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Good. All right. Okay, we're going to start with the trombone. I'm going to bring in somebody that has played trombone. He started on the trombone when he was in grade school. His name is Nick. Nick, could you bring me in the trombone, please? Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Looky there. This is the trombone. And one of the differences we talked about, you can see all the different keys on the flute and the saxophone. And then you had three buttons on this. Those are called valves. And that's how we change the sound. On the trombone, the way we change the sound is the slide. That's why it's called a slide trombone. And this is going to change the sound or the pitch going up or down. Okay? I'm going to lock it for now. And I want to hear your, hear your buzz into that again. Hold the mouthpiece. Buzz for me. Oh, you're blowing your cheeks out. There we go. Thank you. See? You corrected it right away. I'm going to hold the trombone for you. It'll come right into your mouth. Blow. Wow. Very nice. You blow again. Right there. Now relax and blow. Um, yeah, B flat. One more time. Um, okay, we're going to have a little fun. We're going to have you blow and keep the air going and go. Bump. Ready? Let's air. Go. Okay, because you relax, your sound went up and down. Okay, one more time. All right, very good. You want to hear what it sounds like? Nick, you going to play? No? Okay. <laughs> All right, here we go. This trombone has... Okay? Good. Trombone. Trumpet, trombone. You really qualify for most of the instruments. You're, you have a little bit of a lip here. I, the flute may not be in your where you want to be. Clarinet, saxophone are okay. Trumpet, trombone are very good, too. You play trombone... If you're in the marching band, a lot of times you're in the front of the you're front row, which would make it great. Okay? Good. Well, thank you, Cooper. That was a lot of fun. All right? Question. 